Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and return with having. Every human being, according to the educators that are educating our marvelous children in this world, teach them that they have emotions, and that emotions come in all different types. And we have happiness, and we have sadness, and we have joy, and we have sorrow, and we have gladness, and we have rage. Now isn't that the simplest version of our, well, attitudes and feelings? You see, you have a feeling about your life. And what we've been talking about in almost every audio cast is that those are your rights. And one of our biggest challenges we have right now in America is Trump. Mr. Trump is trying to take away your rights. He and his marvelous brood of children from after four wives, I believe, and a whole bunch of whores that he's paid across eternity are the Satanists of our world. He wants to tie the Bible now, so maybe he's converted himself with his new wife from a foreign country. But I'm going to ask you a few questions. If you're a president, like Obama, why wouldn't you release your birth certificate to prove you're an American citizen? And if you're a gracious woman, like Kamala Harris, she's been very clear on how her parents appeared here and what she's come from. And she's been very intelligent to choose the Indian network, as opposed to the blacks that she was touting before. But what we know about God in heaven is that he loves diversity. And we know that because we don't have perversity in America. Or do we? Do we not have a huge porn industry that comes in mainly from where? Young teenage girls inappropriately behaving because their parents never taught them morality or propriety? Or oriental countries where sex is not such a, well, immoral thing? One of the values of traveling in the Orient is that you learn that people have a lot more life balance and a lot more regard for the living as opposed to the immoral American country where the religious right is trying to control you and control me. You see, Mr. Trump got into office saying and spewing a lot of publicity. He also did an amazing television show that made him a household name. I once, in my blog when I still had it, wrote about that, that he did a great marketing job. And even though he fired Carolyn, who was probably worth firing him because I met her on a plane once and she was a royal bitch on wheels. And sometimes women like that need to be humbled. But let me explain to you. The minute you cross the line in your beliefs, taking those beliefs into action to harm someone like me or anyone like me for being homeless, indigent, struggling, and having a different religion, that was a hate crime. The minute you thought that my secondary sex characteristics of having a beard for my faith wasn't, wasn't important to you and you decided to cut it with your girlfriends who work at the Dollar Tree and are all gay or gamers, that's on you. And where I choose to lay the blame for the hacking on my phone and my computers is totally with Staples. Or is it the incredibly immoral, undereducated, underprivileged, and heavy jealous people that live in one of these monstrous $250 a week hotels, motels, apartment buildings? where they can pay by the day or pay by the week. We certainly need those places because other people need to have a place to stay. But when it comes to my legal records, when it comes to my legal documents, and let's just turn it around for you. When it comes to your legal name, who represents you as an adult in America? When it comes to paying your bills, who's responsible to do that? And if you're in a spot of trouble and someone decides to help you, how should they handle it? Should they walk into your place where you have bills to pay and say, I'm paying for this for him? Or should they be passing you a check on behalf of a generous and respectable relative, allowing you to put it through your bank account so that it comes from you and there's no disparagement, there's no embarrassment, there's no embellishment of rights going on? And if you've got siblings or if you've got cousins or if you've got uncles and aunts, how should they be treating you today? Should they be regarding your life and your choices, or should they be trying to deplete you and ruin you? I'd like to know. And how much anger do they have and are they allowed on your life? How much jealousy and strife can they put on your life because they're jealous 
of how your father or your mother, depending on your situation, chose to help you in moments of difficulty of life. And if you lost your life partner, your wife, your husband of more than 20 some years, how should you be handled in your biological family? Should someone, any one of your brothers and sisters ever bother to pick up the fucking phone and call you to see if you were okay? Or is your relationship with your significant other, your lover, your bedfellow, your snuggle bunny, whatever, snuggle bear, so insignificant to those people that they didn't care?